All right, guys, welcome for another clay tutorial. For today, we got our clay out. Now, um, what I've given you is probably knob clay, AA big ish. Uh, first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to smash and rotate in our hands just a little bit, get into kind of a ball shape just to start us off, like so. We'll get to that semi round phase. So then when you Squish it a little more, get a little more of a squish shape. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to roll it into a ball in your hands. All right. Now, once you've got your ball formed, you'll take your thumb, smash your thumb into the center of it. Be careful not to go all the way through, just down deep enough to be the depth of the, of the clay, but not all the way down. Now, what you're going to do next is what we're going to do is we're going to turn this uh, small little bowl into a pinch pot. Now, for the pinch pot method, you're literally going to pinch uh, to create your bowl shape. Now, I'm going to take another piece of clay, flatten it out with my hands just a little bit real quick. Uh, now, the big thing is this. Again, the more you work with the clay, the faster it's going to dry out. So be careful as you're working to... Um, not overhandle the clay. Make sure that you're doing every step in, in sequence and that you're not trying to uh, step out of that because if you do, you're going to mess up and dry out your clay and not work well. All right, so what I'm doing for the pinch pot method, just trying to get a uh, bit of clay here so you can actually visually see what I'm doing inside of it. So I've got my thumb in here, and what I'm doing with my thumb and forefinger, at, I'm going to pinch, but as I'm pinching, I pinch in with my... Uh, thumb to push the clay out, but as I'm on the other side, I'm catching it with my finger, and I'm I'm using all my muscles. I'm taking the muscles starting at the tip, bring it up to the joint to build the wall. So it's it's a pinch and squish up like this. So as I'm pinching, I'm rolling that clay up the thumb like this, and I'm stretching that clay out so that I can work on that wall. So as I'm doing with this hand, I'm using two fingers, two hands to pinch and rotate the clay out, to squish it out, thin it out, as you see here. But when you're inside with the ball, you are pinching, and as I'm pinching, I'm pulling this bit of clay up over my thumb and forefinger. So you should see a nice mark. And what you're doing, I'm just pinch and rotate, pinch and rotate. Pinch, pulling up that finger, rotating it out. Pinch, pulling up that finger, rotating it out. Now, here's when you start to see real quick if your piece is centered or not. And the reason I want to talk about that is look at the from the side angle. You can see how this side is raised up really high. Uh, the bowl is forming fine, but this side is off kilter, that side. So just manipulate that just a little bit with your hand. You can also take it, tap it on top of the wood that I've got on the desk. Make sure that you keep it on the wood uh, if while you're working. If you're putting it on the table, it's not sitting in your hand because it will stick to the tabletop itself. Uh, anything that is a laminate surface, the clay will adhere to, uh, and I will come by to scrape it off uh, to keep the to get it off the table. Uh, but I will tell you up front that I will not take. Um, I will protect the table before I protect your piece, just in case. Um, now, after you've got it opened up, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to take. Um, I'm going to keep manipulating that clay up the side and, and notice what I'm doing now is I'm taking it I'm pinching and rotating a little bit at the same time so pinch and twist and I'm just rolling it around on that base on the table so I have a nice even base now once you have your bowl formed uh, you're going I want you to take notice of this is the thickness of the wall the same thickness as your base if this bottom section is thicker, what you're going to do is, I'll slide this over just the one board, I'm going to push down to get that clay to squish out, and after it squishes out, I'm going to go on the bottom, and what I'm doing is I'm pinching it at the bottom here. So let's say we got this piece right here. So I'm pushing out that clay with my thumb, but at the, on the other side, I'm catching it on this side and pulling it up directly into that wall. So I immediately make that left-hand turn for the clay so it can go ahead and build up the face instead of keep pushing out I don't want to make the bowl bigger I want to make it go up so take pinch rotate pinch rotate just to finish out the rest of that bowl and you should feel it getting taller in the palm of your hand in between I can feel it rising up into the palm of my hand I'm actually having to manipulate how I 
hold my thumb in that bowl because I want to keep manipulating the clay to work it out, get, get all the design work that I need done. Now, once I have my bowl situated, like so, there's my pinch cup, my pinch pot, uh, nice overall shape. You can go back with any of these little cracks. They will still be there after they're fired. They never go away unless you take them out. So taking my thumb and forefinger, pinching that together, I'll smooth over those cracks, make sure everything is nice, evened out. So I take out all of that work first. Then after that's done, you are left with a finished product. And you have a couple options. Number one, I don't like having that bumpy let me see if I can turn it right. This uh, unevenness on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap it, not slamming, just using gravity and let it tap on its own to make a flat top. And what I like to do is I roll that clay back in on itself just a little bit. And by rolling in on itself, uh, that gives me that perfect shape still that I can use as a drinking vessel. And I'm pinching, overlapping any clay parts that come apart uh, just so I can strengthen up that wall structure. But I can also get make sure I got an even design element to it. Then once you've done with that, once you take your pen, your pencil, whatever you got to use, got a pen with me right now. And first things first, gotta know whose this is. So I want you to put your initials, and just use your pen, pencil, put your initials in the bottom. Make sure that you got those in there because if it's not in there when I go to fire, guess what happens to your piece? It goes bye-bye, never comes back because I put it in recycling. I don't know whose it is, not gonna fire a piece, I don't know whose it is. Make sure that you got your initials in it. Then you can come over to the side, again, using your pen or your pencil. Um, you can then come in and create design elements, give it a little pattern. I've been talking about pattern a few times in this class. Make sure, in, uh, in my class we have. Uh, make sure that you are adding a design element, something that becomes um, uh, desirable for the viewer to see. And I'm just doing two swirl line patterns, but after you uh, continue that design over and over again to create a finished motif, it does come out to be a very interesting pattern. So I got this nice hatching uh, design element going along the side. Now, these will go into the first fire. The first firing is your bisque firing. That's where we cook these up to where they are uh, semi-permanent. And the only reason I said that they're semi-permanent is because you do, would need a glaze application if you're going to drink out of it, uh, if it was at a bisque stage. Uh, so it definitely needs to go for another firing. We will be firing these um, glazing these after the bisque firing, and then they will go into the glaze firing. The glaze firing will uh, add that nice pretty color shell on it, and you guys can pick your color. Um, or if this is uh, on my channel, make sure that you guys have selected something, um, another application to do before you drink out of this. The reason is if you drink out of a bisque piece of clay, the water as you put it in is sucked up into the clay body and any impurities, anything that's in that clay body will leach back into the water and not be tasty or healthy for you. So don't do that. Um, at this stage, if I were to put water in this right now, it would start to disintegrate because this has not been fired. Uh, or So it's not, uh, have doesn't have any, uh, it's the vitreousness of the clay, the permanent stage. So, uh, but we'll go into that in another video. All right, I hope you guys did a cool pinch pot. Look forward to seeing them. Later.